Television history from her years on Who's the Boss and Charmed, but these days Alyssa Milano isn't talking only about her past, but her favorite pastime. And you can read all about it in her new book, Safe at Home Confessions of a Baseball Fanatic. And we are very happy to have her here with us. Good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning. Thank so you so much. So good to have you. And under Thank like such great me. conditions, I too am a little baseball fanatic myself. Yay, I love that. Now, given that you are a Dodger fan, you're originally from New York, moved to LA, but now you're in, in Yankee Met territory. So people, all the guys have been wanting you to come on the show forever. So when they I heard take a look at what happened. Uh oh. <laughs> Everybody's in what's up? Dodger hats? Look at that. See, and they're willing, not only are they excited for you to be here, they're willing to walk around the streets of New York wow, with those thanks, hats today. Guys. So what is <laughs> honest, awesome. What does a guy have to do to get your attention? Because you know everybody's in love with you. Um I I think make make me laugh. That's I mean, the key. that's that that's the key I think to to me being attracted to people. Um, even as friends, you know, I, my best friend of law is one of the funniest men ever. Um, you know, I have a very funny family, so I like to laugh. And I feel like if you could laugh with someone, you could pretty much Do get through anything. As long as you can look at things as, the, you know, the glass half full. Exactly. Right? Now, given that, I know that you've dated uh, professional baseball players in the past, but now you are engaged to someone who is not a professional athlete. Is the whole dynamic different that he is not a professional player of some um, sort? Oh, look, there he is. And he's very cute. Uh, he is very athletic, so that's good. <laughs> that is good. So what do you guys do together? He's got a great arm. Um, we do, I mean, you know, every I have eight horses in my backyard. Wow. So we ride, and, uh, you know, we go to a lot of baseball games. Uh, luckily, he loves the sport as much as I do, so now that's let's, great. Now, now let's talk about the book. What was, I know a lot of it is really a testament to, you know, the bond and the connection between you and, and your father. So yeah. what was it about not only that connection, but, but now being the time to write such a book? Well, I think my, you know, my childhood was, was, a little awkward, you know, and, and not normal, mm -hmm. per se. Um, and I grew up hearing such amazing stories about, you know, the Dodgers and Ebbets Field and Flatbush at that time. Mm -hmm. and, um, and baseball was always pretty much a constant. And really, no matter what was going on in my life, um, and no matter what my relationship was like with my dad, um, I always had baseball, and I always had baseball to talk to him about. Right. Um, so it was really a, a great, a great bond, and I think it's something, you know, that a lot of fathers and daughters can relate to. You know, mm. I've been doing these book signings now for the last three days, and it's been so nice because, you know, the fathers show up with their little girls, and uh, that's the best thing ever. And I, I, You're I hope getting that, emotional. I know. Yeah. I was that girl too. I played little league. My dad coached my team, so it is that special bond. It, it really is. It's a, it's a special thing, and uh, you know, I, I thank him for teaching me the uh, the games within the game and the the beauty of 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 how special the sport is. Given that Joe Torre Joe Torre wrote the forward, which I'm sure was a thrill for you. Yes. And then, you know, I mean, was that a hard hard to convince him? I would think not. It, well, you know, we were throwing around names like, wouldn't it be great if we could get someone you know sort of known to write the forward? And I said, wouldn't it be amazing if we could get Joe Torre, never thinking that that would actually happen. And my agent at CAA actually had a connection with him. So she said, do you want me to ask? And I said, yes, and can we send him the first chapter? Because the first chapter is really about how baseball is such a generational gift mm -hmm. handed down from grandparents mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. parents. Um, and he responded to that. And, you know, I think you know, spending as much time as he did in Brooklyn, obviously. There are a lot of things that he sort of grasped. Right. And I love that. So what are your traditions when you go to baseball games? I mean, do you have little, like, you know, little things that you do? I you have lots of little things. Are like screaming? Or <laughs> I scream sometimes. Uh, when we got eliminated last year, I actually started crying. To the, to the point to the point that some um, a stranger came over to me and gave me a hug and he was like there's always next year but yeah you I took it harder than the players I, yeah I took it pretty hard but I have a ritual where there's this huge uh, floor to ceiling Jackie Robinson picture mm -hmm. when you enter the dugout club which is where my seats are and I uh, I wave when I see the picture and then when I get to the first landing I'm like eye level to his tummy and chest and I rub it 
counterclockwise four times. And it's weird how, like, when you're a sports fan, you become bizarrely superstitious. And then that sort of... And you have weird ways to exhibit that superstition. Yeah, and then it yeah. sort of translates into your life, too. Right. Like, I've become bizarrely superstitious. Uh -oh. Now, let's talk who's the boss. It seems like eight is a lucky number for you. Who's the boss being on, on the air? Personally, I related so much to your character because I was oh. very similar to that girl. Oh, but God. what are your fondest memories when you think back to those times? Just, you know... I was so blessed to be on a series that lasted for eight years, A, in that time. You know, I was 11 to 19, mm, so those, so those are, pretty are pivotal years. Pivotal years, very formidable, you know, um, important years. And I was surrounded by just the loveliest people. And I think that that's part of the reason why I was, you know, oh, there I, <laughs> I was, I was able to come out of, um, you know, being a child actor okay. You know, mm -hmm. I, I say often that I have to give those people as much credit for raising me as, as my own parents right. because it was because it really was a family and, yeah. and you were part of our family too which charmed another eight years so eight what's years. next tv show wise you going back to um, television i am i just filmed a pilot last week for for abc and we're playing that awful waiting game of you know are we going to get picked up or not which uh i don't think most people realize you know you shoot a pilot and then you have to wait for two months to find out whether or not you're going to make it on air so, which is always the worst. But at least you have something to do in the meantime. I and do, and I'm and I'm very happy with everything. Congratulations so again, you. and thanks so much for coming in. Thank you and, for uh, having And for me. all of you guys out there, not only is Safe at Home on sale now, but she's going to be signing copies of her book at 8 o'clock tonight at the Book Review in Huntington in Long Island. For more info, go to on Long Island, WPIX.com slash morning news. Back to you guys. Wow, Alyssa Milano, so cool. That's right, she's fabulous and yeah. beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right.